डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो ऑफ गोइंग टू स्कूल पार्ट फोर इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाई आर्यभट नेशनल पब्लिक स्कूल इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट वहीकल्स different means that students use at the different part of our country to go to a school or to travel to different places jugaad is a vehicle or a country made vehicle that is used by students or people in gujarat this jugaad is a country made vehicle its body is just like a bullock cart body and there is a engine a bike engine or a pumping set engine fixed with it that carry that bullock cart body in that body students or people travel from one place to other place or go to school there are some questions regarding this jugaad the first question is do you have such vehicles in your area i think many of you have seen this type of vehicle in our area in our area this type of vehicle is called jhaja mail now i know you are laughing lot of students lot of people have traveled by this jhaja mail to go to the nearest market go to fair or go to school sometime or go to their relatives if you have seen or are there such vehicles just like jugaad then your answer should be yes there are such vehicles in our area if not then you have to answer no there are no such vehicles present in our area the next question is what do you call them in your area now you have to answer what i told you the jhaja mail we call it jhaja mail the next question is would you like to ride in something like this why would you like to ride in something like this something like this means jugaad if there is a vehicle like jugaad in your area would you like to ride it if yes why would you like to ride it what do you think isn't it interesting to ride in a vehicle like jugaad a open vehicle looks like bullock cart but drive by an engine if lot of uh, students or your friends together you ride it in that jugaad type vehicle it will be very fun why your answer should be if you like to ride if you think that it will be fun it will be interesting to ride then your answer should be yes i want to ride or we want to ride it like this in like vehicle like jugaad why why because it is very interesting vehicle it sounds very different from uh, a tractor or a jeep or a car and it's open we can have lot of fun in this that you have to write it the next question is can you tell why it is called jugaad i think jugaad everybody knows jugaad what is jugaad jugaad means 
by using our country technique our and making something that is quite different from any other vehicle it is it doesn't look like a car it doesn't look like a jeep its half part is like it's a motorbike engine or a pump set engine and the half part is from the bullock cart side that's why it is called a jugad the next question is the jugad has been made by using waste material why don't you also try to make something by putting together some waste material it is so the question is asking that jugar is made by the waste material if you want to build something by using waste material you can build there are a lot of things you can build by using plastic bottles using empty cans by using waste material you can build build lot of things that when your school will open when we will gather we will try to discuss about some things that we can made by using waste materials in the next in the earlier part of the video we discussed about that all the parts of our country is not just like not the plain area somewhere there are rivers somewhere there are deserts somewhere there are mountains somewhere there are forest how children living in the forest or near the forest go to school if they have to cross the forest to reach their school if they have to cross the forest is there any road or how they cross their how they cross the forest to reach the reach the school or if they have to go to the market or they have to visit their relatives they have to cross the forest and in forest the roads are not the same as they are in the plains once we visited balmiki nagar i think many of you know the road about the roads present there in the forest when we were when we were going to visit the the balmiki ashram there were lot of rocks on the road we have to cross a small rivers to reach the balmiki ashram the same thing students who live near the forest have to face every day to go to school in some part of the forest this forest is so thick that even sunlight doesn't reach the ground in the forest it is sometimes there you will hear different kind of sounds of birds and other creatures but students who live near the forest have to face all these difficulties to reach the school there are some questions regarding this the first question is have you ever been in a thick jungle or any such place the first question is asking have you visited any jungle any forest or any such place like this of course we all have visited
if you have visited then your answer should be yes i have visited a such place the next question is write your experiences in your notebook if you have visited such place then you have to write your experience what you face what you felt when you were at that forest or any such place like a forest the next question is can you recognize some birds by their sound can you imitate the sound of the birds do it i think lot of students lot of uh, people can recognize birds only by hearing their sound we can recognize crow we can recognize cuckoo we can recognize nightingale if you can imitate if you can bring out the sound of that uh, bird then the question is asking that you have just imitate just copy it and do it in some part of our country there are snow students in winters Uh, like kashmir ling ladakh the region the uh, masuri shimla nainital these are such places where in winters there is a snowfall and everything is covered with snow and students like you have to go to school by crossing these snow you have to reach school through miles of snow there is there are some questions have you ever seen so much snow where in films or somewhere else where you have seen do you remember i think all of us has seen so much snow in films or in news then you have to write it yes i have seen in films or seen in news or somewhere else if you have if you have visited such places then you have to write it write the name of that place The next question is Do you think that such places have snow all the time What do you think such places have snow all the time or for some time There are lot of places in India where you find you will find snow for some time but there are lot of places where you will find this is snow for the whole year in some part of our country people live in the mountains in the mountains there are small and big rocks everywhere it's very difficult to build roads there therefore students or people living there have to cross the rocky paths these rocky paths are uneven it is very difficult to walk on these rocky paths here you can see students going to a school walking on the rocky paths 
I think until and unless you should not visit that place, you can't imagine how difficult it is to walk on that this type of rocky paths. But the students or the people living there move very swiftly, very easily. They can walk. There are some questions. The first question is, do you face difficulties on the way to your school? Now it's asking to you that if you face any kind of difficulty on the way to your school, I think every one of us face some kind of difficulties. And what are those? Especially in rainy season, it is very difficult to go to a school. And for those who ride a bicycle, it is very difficult for them to go to a school. And apart from rainy season, every day in going to school, we face a lot of difficulties. There are a lot of speed breakers on the road. Sometimes you will find stray animals sitting on the road that makes great problems. Sometimes we will find garbage on the road that makes very difficult to go to school. This type of difficulties, whatever difficulties you people face, on the way to your school, you have to write your experience. The next question is, which is the best month in which you like to go to school and why? What do you think? Which is the best month? For me, If you ask me this question, which is the best month in which I would like to go to a school, is the month of February, the month of April, the month October, November, because at that time the weather is very good. You will not feel hot, neither too hot, neither too cold. There is no rain. These months are very best months to go to a school. It varies from person to person. Maybe I like that month, but maybe you don't like that month. You like something else, some other months to go to a school. And why? You have to. Explain it. This is the end of uh, this chapter. From children's pen, no punishment. All these things we will discuss in the school when the school will open. Thank you for watching. Complete your notes. I will provide you all the question answers that you have to write it in your notebook. Thank you very much.